Hey there! Welcome to the Pinbox 3000 assembly video. I'm Ben T. Matchstick with the Cardboard Tech Institute, and today we're gonna build the Pinbox 3000 together. It only takes about an hour, and the video goes along exactly the right time, so it's pretty casual. You'll be able to follow along. You'll be following along with Pete today to put it together. And um, if you just are stuck on a step or two, you can look down in the comments section and find that time when that step is being shown and you can scroll ahead. So I hope you have a great time building it and I'll see you at the end of the video. Bye, have fun, tilt the future. My name is Pete Talbot and I am your guide to building your Pinbox 3000. All right, let's open it up. There we go. You can see here, this is the companion sheet for the instructions that you'll see printed on every slide. So each piece has the instructions on it, and then this sheet helps to show you what you're going to end up with after each slide. So you see this colored section right here? This slide right here, number A, <laughs> letter A, <laughs> makes this right there. Then B makes that one, and so on. So we'll refer back to this while we're building the game. All right, I'm gonna put this over here, and I'm gonna put the box over here, and then I'm going to assemble from here. All right, let's punch this out. Let's see. So now I'm gonna follow the numbers. Number one, all right, punch this one out first. that out too. If there's any little shapes, you want to keep them and add them into your game later, that's cool. Just put them in a little pile right there. It's great. All right, so step one, fold up. All right, and when we say fold up, pretty much means fold it 90 degrees. And now, instead of just 90 degrees, you can overfold it a bit, and that's called increasing the crease. That'll help to uh, keep the cardboard staying in that fold shape. I'm going to fold number two, fold that up. All right, looking for number three, there we go. Fold that up, and you're going to fold it against that shape right there. Now it says insert tabs to lock. Well, we're going to bend this up like that, and then we're going to push it through right there. Just like that. It's going to lock it right in there. Let's do that to the other side. There we go. Cool. And do number four. Insert the tabs to lock. Awesome. So now what we have is the back leg. There, set that down. And we're going to punch out the last piece on this slide, the middle wall. Cool. <clears throat> and we got this. Now, I've punched out all the pieces, but don't just throw this away. I'm not going to, I'm not going to just toss it out because there's a lot of really cool graphics that we added in um, so that you can cut these out and then add these into your game later on. So I'm going to save all of this for making my play board later. All right, and now what we want to do is match the middle wall letters with support leg letters. So we're going to start with A. Let's find A on the back leg. There we go. Slot that right in there, just like that. Done. So now let's look back at this sheet. Steps one through four, plus that middle wall, 
made with this. Boink. Awesome. So now we're going to make the middle and front leg. All right. Slide B. down. You know what? I'm going to do this one in an order. So we got five, six, there we go. Okay. Seven. Insert tabs to lock. Pew. There we go. Likewise on that side. And again, and there. All right, and now we've got the middle leg. And we're gonna line up B and B. Looking good, okay. Let's punch out the front leg. Track nids on there. Got a cool suit of armor, a cat, a unicorn, tons of stuff. All right, I'll put this over there. And now nine. Let's fold up nine there. Okay, and ten. You can even use the table. Fold that up. That, that helps too. Okay. 9, 10, 11. Is that? Insert tabs to lock. Okay. There we go. And if it tore a little bit like that, that's okay. Structurally, it is totally fine. Awesome. Now this is the front leg, so you can see right there. This one has these other little tabs, these little flap things. Um, you want to, it says to fold tab flat. And so these are important. They come into play later. You want to fold them down like that. And it's actually going to hold, this is going to hold this tab down like that. Like, there we go. So this is, um, going to be the front one. And it might be a little loose right in the front. Uh, we designed it to work that way. Don't fear. Uh, the whole thing, when you build it, let's see and see together. There we go. Um, it's going to make itself even sturdier as you construct it. All right. Going pretty good. Let's check. Steps 5 through 12. So it's going to look like that now. There we go. Let's grab the right side wall. And this one is going to make that. Okay. Let's punch out these. It's going to punch out all three of these shapes all at once. Okay. Saving these cool graphics. 
Okay, and now you're going to start to see um, some stuff to you know, have to punch out. Um, and you can keep these little things if you want to, but uh, you can also just recycle them. So I got those four, and there's these. Make a little cardboard croquet. There we go. And there's these two little holes. There we go. Okay, so you're all set. Um, this is the larger step. Uh, piece. So let's see, step by step. 13, fold up shelves. So these are the shelves. All right, so fold up. And we're gonna fold out the tabs. That means you take these parts and fold them out like that. Kind of a, of a, a reverse fold. Like that. And now we're going to match up the shapes on the tabs with the shapes on the wall. Just like that. There we go. That's prepped. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Fold up. See, I'm really, really creasing that. Fold out. And then I'll show you from another angle. I'm going to insert this like that. Now, this part could um, feel a little tricky, but whichever way. Uh, it it uh, turns out to fold whether both of these crease or just one of them kind of creases. It's okay as long as you just get it folded in half. It's good. So now what you want to do is you want to splay these tabs out like that, and then you want to <clears throat> push this side against the table and fold. You want to fold this like that. You want to make sure that these tabs are <clears throat> pushed down so that they remain splayed out and flat in this kind of sandwich, okay? And then you'll notice that these little cutouts line up with D, E, and F. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to find D, E, and F and slot these down into here. So I'm just gonna start it in the back. I don't push it all the way down there yet. I kinda wanna start them a little. Remember this tab? This is gonna get held down in place when I put this wall in. All right. Wiggle it down in there. There we go. So just push down until uh, this wall is flush with the table. There you go. Okay, that was easy. Next wall. <clears throat> this is the left side wall. punched out. Got some cool dungeon doors and stuff. All right, I'm gonna go over there. And let's fold up these shelves. Fold out these little tabs. All right. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot to punch out this stuff right there. You're gonna kind of have a little pile of mini punch out things um, when you're done assembling the pin box, just from these kinds of punch out parts. Um, yeah, you might want to do it on a table or on a floor so you can clean it up easy. So this is gonna slot into there, just like that. Okay. Fold this up, splay these out. All right, looking good. I'll put this one in there. Awesome. Okay, remember the last time? I'm going to fold this over like that. Cool. All right, and now we've got G, H, and I. That's gonna line up with G, H, and I. Start the back first. Shove it all the way down. There you go. Feeling solid. Getting there. Awesome. Okay. So now we're on to E. Let's reference this again. So we just did the left side wall there, and then now we're going to do the backboard. This is slide E. Step 17 through 18. Okay, so, oops, upside down. There we go. I'm gonna save that. And this has some punch out things, like this little battle key slot. And punch out this thing. There you go. It's always fun. Uh, and then there's this thin slot right there. I'm gonna punch this out too. Okay. There we go. So 17, fold up both left and right sides. All right, fold up the left one and the right one. Okay, and then I'm gonna slot the backboard all the way down into the back leg between the two outer walls. So it's gonna go in between these two. And I'm gonna match up these letters right here. Slot this down, just like that. So now make sure that the battle key slots right there are lined up. So make sure that you can see through right there. The battle key comes in later. Okay, awesome. Now we're going to do the return rails right there. So those are these inner um, V kind of structures. Slide F. All right. Let's punch this out. Okay, there's one. return rail is first. Fold up. Okay, so I'm going to fold that whole side. We don't have to super over fold it. Like that's great. Okay, now 20. We're going to slot the rail into the left side foot tabs 
all right? And we're going to align M and N. That's M and N. So M first. It's going to line up back in there. See, there's these little arm kinds of things. These are going to notch right into those. So this bends up. This notches in like that. M and N are lined up. And then 21, push down and lock all tabs. So you're probably going to have to kind of guide these tabs in just a little bit. And then you just push it down all the way like that. Installed. All right, now we're going to do the right return rail, not the wrong one. Uh, okay, fold this up. There we go. Slot it into this side first. Got it. Now we're going to slot it down into these. Cool. Push down like that. You get a nice interlock. There you go. So the pressure from this pushing out really helps to hold the whole thing together. Okay. Now we're going to move on to slide G. Now this kind of has a lot going on. So I'm going to reference the sheet again. So we're going to be, this has four four things we're going to be adding to the pin box just on this sheet alone. So we've got the header, the two battle keys, they're kind of small in this picture, but they help to secure the backboard together, the crush protector, and the ball return right in right here, front drawer. All right. Put that there. There we go. Let's find... Here we go. All right punch out this. This is the front drawer. So I'm going to go one at a time. Okay, Ooh, I'm going to punch out these little, little holes right there. Awesome. Okay, so I know it says 25, 26, but I'm going to start with 1, 2, and 3. So let's go 1, 2, 3. Notice these stars right there. Fold this up first. 1, 2, and then these stars are going to line up. Three overlaps. And then you want to slot this tab right down into this hole. Just like that. And you can kind of push it down in there. It's going to come out through the bottom. All right, done. So that was the first step, 25. So now fold tabs. This says fold up. So I'm going to fold up those. These, you actually, it's a reverse fold, so you're going to fold these down. I kind of like to break the, the fluting first and then fold them down. Give this just a little crease right there. You don't have to super crease it. Now this looks like, like that when it's ready to install. So it, these are folded up, and then these ones are folded down. All right, let's install that. So we're looking for 20. So 28 is slot in Q, R, and S under the return rails. So these guys are the return rails, and this part is going to slot in under. This is a little tricky. So we're going to slot these guys in underneath there, and we want to 
can actually kind of flip this over a little bit. You can see that we have these little slots right here, these little holes. These tabs are going to go in there, and then this notch is going to get notched in this front area, just like that. Tabs, notch. Cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it looks like that on the top. You'll know that it's that you're on the right track um, when these holes will line up. So there's three three holes, two from the outer wall and then one from the drawer. When you can see through there, you're on the right track. Okay. So. That's just hanging out. It's not totally attached yet. Now, um, we are going to do the crush protector. Uh, yeah, okay. So, when this folds up, it looks like this. So we're going to fold these. There's one crease, two, and then a tiny one right there. So I'm gonna prep these. Okay, and I'm gonna prep this other side too. Because this whole thing folds up together, and then locks itself so that it doesn't come apart. It looks crazy right now, but it makes sense. Once you fold it all. Okay, 29 right there. So you're going to fold these. I find it's easiest if you just fold the whole thing together like that. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. So this folds in just like that. And then this part locks it. like that. Okay, I'll do that again. So it folds right in right there. And now it looks like this. Bink. And then this is going to get slotted onto the CP slot at the front of the middle wall. There's the CP slot right here. So we're gonna slot this, or notch it right down in there, like that. And it, you're gonna wanna push it down on there, like that, so that this part is pretty flush with the top of the crush protector. Because the playboard is gonna sit over the whole thing. And you don't want this sticking up. There you go, that's it. Okay, now we're going to attach the header. Okay, that goes into the top slots of the backboard. You can either put it in the back right here, which kind of has a little bit more grip, or you can put it in the front. Either way. Now, 34, we're going to punch out the battle keys. So these also are super share mode keys, whichever, whichever mode you're feeling. I'm gonna save that over there. And there's a little crease right here. It, it feels like it wants you to fold it like this. You actually wanna fold it in the reverse. Okay, so that you can see the, the writing. Super share mode or battle mode. So crease it a little bit in the front and then reverse fold. Now these guys go in these slots right here. And that helps to hold the, the backboard in.
There you go. You can see they stick in right there too. Okay, so now it's gonna get tricky. We have, let's reference this again. So we just did all of that. It's looking great. Now we're going to be doing the front hood. And these, this step involves the box rivets. These are tricky, so please pay attention. Let's do this. Okay. Punch out these parts. Noting, this is step 41. It's <laughs> it wants you to pay attention to this. Once rivets are connected, they are hard to take apart. Okay, for real. These are really intense. So only attach it when I show you. I'm glad you're watching the video. It's gonna help you. Okay. So I'm gonna keep this for, ref for reference right there. And I'm going to pop open this bag of rivets and marbles and rubber bands. Okay, your pencil and your golf tee and your little hook tool. I'm just gonna grab four rivets right now. Each of these rivets, to hold something together, they work in pairs. So it works like this, where you have two rivets and then you turn one 90 degrees and then you match it up and then squeeze really tight, but don't do it right now. This is just to show you how they go together. Once they're together, you pretty much need two hammers to take them apart. Okay, so I'm gonna set these right here. Now I'm gonna punch out this piece, this little hole, that little hole. There's the ball loading zone, coin slot, this hole, and that one. Okay, all set. All right, well, let's follow along the numbers. 35, fold this up. 36, fold up. Uh, 37, and try not to bend these parts. So you can kind of fold it from there like that. Okay. okay. And now you want to make sure that these little tabs, these little flaps, are on the inside when you fold up this part. So what we're doing right now is we're creasing this and getting it ready. So you see how there's these little lines? This is gonna overlap these lines. And these two holes are gonna line up, just like that. So now you're looking at it backwards. So you want to slot these into the top of the left front leg. So that means we have to fold it. We have to move it over like that. And now this is going to kind of unfold a little bit, but we want to slot this into here. So I'll show you. There you go. So that's gonna hold that in place. And I'm gonna do that with this side too. Great. Okay, this kind of popped out, but that's all right. We're gonna start with this side right here. Can you see you okay? 
humans, human audience. Try it. Okay, cool. So I'm going to start right here, and we're going to start from the inside. Um, so it's going to go. The order of connection is going to be front drawer, the two pieces of cardboard from the outer wall here, then this piece, then this this one is last. Okay. Make sure that this tab is folded in. So there's not a lot of space down here. So I'm just going to go one at a time. There we go. Okay, you see that? Now I'm going to connect first this one, then this one. And there we go, it's popping out. Now I'm going to attach this together with the other rivet. There's probably only about five clicks that you'll be able to get, and these are really tough. So, ah, whew. yeah, even if you don't get all five, that's okay. If you need an adult to help you, um, then that's okay, because they're tough. All right, so now we're gonna start this one. Take the header off for a second. Remember, start from the inside out. Okay, got that first layer. This is a little tricky, so don't get discouraged. Oh, that's why we gave you extras. <laughs> okay. So now it was front drawer, the two pieces from the outer wall, then it's this piece, and then it's this piece last. There we go. Okay. I'm going to grab another rivet. There we go. Attach that on there. Sometimes you got to go at it kind of tilted and then angle it on. Yeah. Okay, so now to bring this down and to open it up, put your fingers like that and then push. This front drawer is going to bend back like that to allow for full extension. You're good. So these are going to always slot into the tops of the feet, the front feet, like that. All right, that is the chassis. Now let's make the playboard. Get these pieces over here. Whee! Okay. So you get two playboards in your Pinbox 3000 standard kit. Um, this is the flipper assembly, and then this is the actual playboard that the flipper assembly attaches to. So let's punch out the playboard first. I know that it's stacked second. This comes in second. This is first, but I want to punch this out first. Notice there's lots of cool extra 
shapes that you can add on to your game. Color those in. Color pencil or marker works well. So punched out the play board and I'm gonna start referencing this. Now we already got to this, this part right here. Good job, let's flip it over. Wowza. Okay, so this is an exploded view. It means that all the pieces are sort of exploding out. This is an exploded view of the playboard you're about to make. So um, we're gonna attach the flippers and the flipper arms and the coin caddy and all of that right onto here. And we're going to follow along with the actual, the, the numbers that are printed. And I'm gonna reference this closely because it's important that you get the order of assembly correctly, okay? The order of attachment is important. All right, so please, please pay attention. We're gonna start with, naturally, number one, right here. So I've got the left flipper, number one. Punch this out. Okay. So I've got this and we these the flipper and the washer go together. I'll put this right here, but make sure to be referencing that sheet. So this folds up and it looks like this. I want to put the washer right here. Let's punch out this little hole, that one. And this one. You know what? You got a little tool that comes in your kit. You can use this to punch out the holes. It makes it easier. Okay, that's a golf tee. So, step one, fold it over. So you're gonna be overlapping these, this shape. Let's increase that crease. Now, let's fold it. Awesome. So these holes line up. Get some of those, oop. Some of these rivets ready. I love this. Yeah. Okay. So now what you wanna do is you want to take a rivet just one, put it in there, like that, okay? And then grab a washer, and you want to put it on the back, okay? Don't attach it yet. I'm gonna come over to here. This is the left flipper, so one attaches here. out these little things. I love punching this stuff out. Okay, so we're gonna attach number one right to there. The washers on the back of that. There we go, okay, and now hold that on there, flip it over, grab another rivet, snap it on, and there's a cool trick you can do. Use the table and your body weight to snap it right on there. Ah, these are tough. Okay. All right, that's on there. Cool. So now we're going to do step two. And step two is the right flipper. Okay, and I'm gonna get that washer too. Let's punch out these holes. Creases. All right. Okay. And then 
fold it over. I'm gonna take another rivet, put the washer on the back. Okay, don't do the rivet yet. Put it, put number two right through that hole. Flip it over. Now grab another rivet and attach it right there. Cool. Okay, it's looking good. So now they're not attached yet so they, to the flipper arm so they can move all around. Next step is number three. All right, left flipper arm. Five little holes to punch out. More teeny tiny cardboard coins. <laughs> okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six creases right along this larger piece. Um, so I'm just going to pre crease, just pre creasing. Not actually folding up yet. Okay, so let's start right here. Three. Rivet goes up through here. Just one. Okay, insert that. And now um, we want to find three on the playboard and the flipper. So you want to flip this over like that. This is important. This goes under here and up through this channel where the three is and connects to the three on this flipper. Okay, see, because this is gonna be activating that. Get another rivet, attach it to this flipper. Do the, to the table, wah, wah. All right. Okay, and now you want to fold this up. Four is fold that in. Remember the crush protector? It's kind of like that. Five, lock those. Just like that. Cool, all right. You're golden, you got a flipper arm combo. Now let's move on to step six. It's fine, so there's six, six. All right, there's the other one. Punch out this. Okay, we're going to punch out these holes. Woohoo! <laughs> Crease it. All right. Six. Rivet goes up through there. Okay, and now flip it over so the writing is underneath. This comes up and under, and then through this little hole right there on the flipper arm, this little flipper wing. It's a flipper and a wing at the same time. Okay, attach that. Hmm. There we go. Nice. Uh, and let's keep following the numbers. Seven fold. Eight. 
8 lock. And lock that other side too. Oh yeah, okay. Now we're on step nine. Let's see, nine's not on here, but it, you can find nine on the part on here. There we go, this is the coin caddy. You can also reference the order as well, right here. See that nine, install the coin caddy, right there. Coin caddy, looks like that. It's gonna go right into these three slots. All right. So there are a couple creases on here that might be sort of hard to see. And there we go. I'll show you where they are. So there's two. One is there, one is there. Increase those. And since the fluting is running this way, it's going to want to crease on the score. Okay. The other one, you can feel it too. It's right there. Okay. And then we've got this one. It wants to fold right there. And then there's sort of a tiny little fold right there, but that's not super important. Okay, now notice we've got these little numbers, four, five, and six. So you want to find four, five, and six down here on the playboard. Okay. Do four first. And you can actually pull it through. wiggling it on one side, and that'll help to get it to pop through on the other side. So four, five is right there. And before I attach five, I'm gonna line up six. Four, five, and six. Now, make sure that this, the wall is on, is like kind of covering this right here. You don't want this to be on the other side of this wall. So this is good. Okay. Makes a nice transition. All right. Do a little, a little wiggle. Pull that through. It's pretty tough cardboard. It's good stuff. Okay. And then this is a little door. So this folds down and locks right into there. You can hold your extra marbles or rubber bands or hook tools or nine volt batteries, anything you want. Right in there. Cool. Okay. Now I'm going to go to step 10 here. It's the launcher housing. Got these weird boomerang things and this circle-ish kind of shape. All right, so step 10, fold this up. Okay, fold up this. And this is actually a reverse fold, so we're gonna fold it that way. But I'm gonna crease it a little bit there so it's easier to reverse fold. There we go. So that's what that looks like. Now I'm actually gonna flip this over and this is going to go, uh, you can't see the numbers. This is one, two, three. So I'm gonna flip it over and find one, two, three. One, two, three, right there. It's 
I'm pulling from the bottom as I'm giving it a little push from the top. There we go. And it is going to be kind of uh, angled to the side a little bit. It's not just your imagination. It helps with the launch. There we go. Okay, so that's all set. Step 11 and 12. This is the launcher. Oh yeah, also, even though there aren't, even though there aren't any cool graphics really on this, there are cool shapes. So you can use these in your playboards too. Cut these up, use them. Let's punch out these holes. Great. Fold sides in flat. <clears throat> now, this is going to be a really, really flat fold. I'm gonna pre, oops, I'm gonna pre-crease these. Pre-creasing them. Now this is going to be a really flat fold on both of these sides, and then they're going to fold in like that. I'm going to fold this a couple times from a couple different angles so you can see it. So, this folds in like that. Okay. All right, one more time. Now, you hold this all together with rivets. So it's just in this last hole. You want to put this through here. Okay. And then you want to put a rivet on the other side. Right there. Ah. Let's see. There we go. Now, this one you really want to have as tight as possible. Okay, that's good. And last step, you want to tuck this in there. So there's two creases. One is right there. The other is right there. Tuck this in like that. It still feels really open right here. That's because it is. But this kind of keeps it tucked in there. Give it a little pinch right on that edge. It's good to go. Take this, and this is going to slot right into here. At the moment, it's going to fall out because we don't have the rubber bands in there. That's the next step. All right, we're going to do the <clears throat> flipper arm first. Grab the hook tool. And you need a rubber band. We're going to flip this over. We're going to do this side first. So take your, your hook tool, put it in this hole first, like that. And then grab the rubber band from that side. And then thread it through. Now you can put the hook tool down, take, take this loop and loop it over this side right there, and then take this loop and loop it over there, these little notches right there, okay? So. You can see it's notched, it's looped right there and there. All right, okay, let's do the other one. Take the hook tool, put it through, grab a rubber band, thread that through. Oh, not on there. You want 
to go on there. Notch it. Awesome. Okay. Now, last step, we're going to thread this rubber band through here. All right. And then we're going to insert this first. See how there's a, it's slanted kind of like this. And it's smooth on top. You want to insert it like that. And then you want to loop these loops over these notches right here. So just that notch there, and that notch there. Awesome. Good to go. Okay. That looks great. Now let's insert the playboard. You want to open this up all the way like that. There's a little notch right here. Oh yeah, punch out those pieces. This little kind of tabby stick out part, it's gonna slot in right into this, the back of this back wall, back board. So do that first, and then this slots down in like that, it sort of sits in there. These ones, right in the top of the front leg, like that. You did it. All right, launch your first marble. Take your marble, place it right in the divot, pull back just until the ball drops, there you go. Launch it and flip out. Now, you can play crazy, but you get more accuracy if you choose your shots, choose your moments. You can stall and you can go for those back holes right there. Yeah. If you do that, it comes right down to the front. If you want to hang it on the wall, seal this up like this. There's a notch on the back. You can hang it and display your pin box. Attach two games back to back by lifting up this battle door. Like that. Bring another game in, like uh, this game right here. Whoops. All right, that's okay. Lift these up, bring them together, and slot your battle key <clears throat> right in here. And hold these two together like that. Do the other side. Usually you'll have another person to help you with this piece. I do. Oh, I'll <laughs> battle you. Here All right, awesome. So now, now you can shoot a marble in between two games. Right through the backboard. All right, that's battle mode. You are good to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna disengage from battle mode. And uh oops. There we go. That's Pinbox 3000. Thank you so much for your support, and I hope you have a huge blast with your pin box. I can't wait to see what you do. Ben and I are super psyched to get your feedback and uh, to see your cool creations. Tilt the future, this has been the Cardboard Tech Institute. See ya. Hey, thanks for assembling the pin box 3000. Good job and congratulations. Now that you've built your pin box, it's on to the next step of designing your playboard. 
So we have included uh, in the pin box at the bottom of the slides, you'll see all these die cut punch out parts. And you can take these out and glue them together and in a stack and lay them out on this classic play board that we've already uh, put together for you um, in the pin box. So you'll get a nice game right out of there. And then after that, you can customize whatever you want or, you know, start off right away. Just dreaming up whatever you want. Again, if you want to follow us on uh, Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, we've got a lot of updates there and photos of your designs. But also subscribe to our YouTube channel because you'll get regular updates with Pete and I customizing games and giving you pro tips and mutations for the pin box. Uh, we're really excited about this platform and we hope you are too. Um, lastly, uh, subscribe to our mailing list. The mailing list is a great way for you to stay posted for all the monthly updates and special deals that we have for the Pinbox 3000 and Cardboard Tech. Thanks for watching and uh, following along and we're having a great time and we hope that you will see you next time. You know what, it's time for my launch break. So I'm gonna have some launch. Oh, I need a little more launch. I think I'll have extra launch today.